So in this video guys, I'm going to show you exactly how you film yourself. And for me, I'll be using my Nikon Z50. And I still remember the days where I literally just picked up my phone, put it on a bookshelf without knowing what the hell I was doing. And look where I'm at now. So you too can also do this on your own. So let's get into it. So nowadays everyone wants to be a content creator. Nothing, no harm in that. And the more, the merrier. So what you need first is obviously what I like to call is the holy trinity. So you need your camera, it doesn't matter what camera. I am using the Nikon Z50 F to Z mount with the 17 to 50 lens. And how I'll be actually viewing myself is you need to go on your phone and download an app called Snapbridge. And what that allows me to do is I will be able to connect my camera to my phone. Essentially, this is my secondary monitor so I can change all the settings, I can make sure I'm in focus, and I can press record when my camera is three feet away from me. Next is you wanna figure out how are you gonna get your audio. You wanna get a good microphone. And to make it even spiffier, a secret hack to getting better audio is the closer you move your subject to the mic, the better the audio will sound. But you can also do this the other way around. What I mean by that is you can move the mic closer to you. I'm gonna show you how I do a boom mic setup. And last but not least is you need lighting because look what happens. That does not look pretty, right? It makes me look kinda, everything's backlit. You got this, you know, nasty ceiling light up here and you want to show your beautiful dome. So get yourself a light and we'll show you how you set this up in this video. So set up with me guys, cause you are a one person army. So first you need to figure out where you're gonna be and where you're gonna be presenting and talking to you in your shot. So I already know where exactly where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be right in this frame. So what I do now is I grab my tripod. This is my Manfrotto Advanced Compact. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. Has that quick release plate. Next what I do is I put the quarter inch into this quarter inch, twist the bottom, making sure that on the bottom of the quick release plate, it'll actually tell you which way the lens should point because if you do it in the wrong way, the camera won't stay on the tripod and you'll have a big uh-oh. And I've had that happen before. Okay. Now that you have your camera mounted on your tripod, next is you wanna get your framing, right? Good enough. And then I'm gonna raise this up and making sure that I am in center frame in the middle. So that's what I'm gonna try to aim for. Okay. Now that I have the camera pretty much positioned to where I approximately want that framing to be where I'm in the center, next is I'm gonna worry about my lighting. So how I'm gonna set this up is really simple. This is the Godox LED P290C. Your really basic standard LED light, which also acts as a key light. And what you wanna do is you just wanna point this light, not directly behind the camera straight on, but you wanna up to the side of it. And what that does is it creates what I like to call, or what the pros like to call, Rembrandt lighting. Because you have lighting now, you can crank down your ISO, meaning that your video quality will be better, right? And last but not least, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a boom setup. So what I'm gonna do is all you need, this is your standard auxiliary cord, 10 feet. You just need yourself a mic stand, pick this up on Amazon. Like I said, everything 
that I'm mentioning is in the description below. Really simple to set up, just a little time consuming. So how this works is I'll be putting my microphone here. This is a normal quarter inch screw and you can put this with any microphone. So one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they put the shotgun microphone on top of their camera, which works great if you're talking right in front of it. But let's say if you're two to three feet away, what if the room is really echo or echoey? Then this is your problem solver. Next is you want to grab that 3.5 millimeter auxiliary port and plug that in to the microphone out. And then what you want to do is you want to wrap this wire around. Because if you don't wrap the wire around, it's going to be a big tangly mess. And now what we have here is my own little DIY professional looking YouTube studio setup. And like I said, right here, you have your boom mic stand, you got your camera, and you got your lighting. And this is how the things that I wish I knew in comparison when I did this 10 years ago when I started off as a content creator, putting out my phone, which is the great courage of, you know, just starting. But this is the things that I wish I knew when I first started. And hopefully you guys can see a big difference between the beginning of this shot where I was just using this, putting this to the side, not really caring about lighting and audio. But now that I have this set up, you should tell the big difference between how to film yourself and how do you actually film yourself looking a little bit more profesh, you know? And if you stuck this far, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how I actually press record because yes, you know, it's cool that I have this set up here, but how do I actually press record if I'm actually not actually behind the camera? How can I see if I'm in focus? How can I see if I've got the right settings? I'm gonna show you that right now. Go into your toolbar right here. And you wanna go down to connect to smart device. Wi-Fi connection. And that will create your Wi-Fi connection. And then what you wanna do next on your phone is you wanna grab your phone right here. And I'm going to open SnapBridge, which is Nikon's proprietary app, so I can connect to this. So I wanna to connect to the Wi-Fi first. So you open up your Wi-Fi and you should be able to see your Nikon Z50 50 right there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put myself in frame and I can actually focus myself. And I can, I can actually tap to focus, All right? So I set the Nikon Z50 because I'm shooting on the 17 to 50 2.8 AFS because I put this on manual focus, it'll constantly be hunting. And now guys, I am recording by myself with my Nikon Z50 and because I put the camera on AFS, I can actually tap to focus when I am not behind the camera. All I'm doing is I'm just tapping focus on my phone and I can change all the settings and making sure that, hey, am I in focus? I, am I in a center of frame? And now I am able to start recording on my Nikon Z50 with this complete setup all by myself. And now you guys can actually see that, yeah, you know, it might be a little daunting at first because I still remember the days 10 years ago as a aspiring YouTuber, YouTuber, and being so scared to even start. And over years, I've learned that this is what you need, this is what you need, and this is how you essentially do it. You have your camera, you have your tripod, you have your audio, making sure that it's 
pointed closer to you because the better the audio sounds, the more of a voiceover that you can actually do. And making sure that you have a decent lighting, not pointing straight at your face, but to the side and making sure that, hey, you have a ceiling light, might as well go and use it. And now you are ready to start creating something, right? And when it comes to the framing, right, I can make, make sure I am in the middle, right? Making sure you have an interesting backdrop. You can frame it properly with this and that. But this is the bare bones basics of how you start creating content for yourself and not really needing anybody. You can learn the education and learn everything you need in this age now where you can pick up your phone and start recording. And then from there, you can use that as your building blocks for your content creation journey. And if you want to get serious about content creation, making sure what's the best settings, I have a camera guide, link in the description, and in the comments below. Check that out. Help me help you. And my name is Peter, and I started creating content 10 years ago, man. Almost 10, like 7, 8, 8 years now. And I didn't go to school. I learned all this by trial and error. And now I have a whole video showing you guys what I wish I knew, you know? My name's Peter, you're watching a Broke Visionary Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.